Good evening. Welcome. Thanks Hello. for joining me and Jay. My name's Barry. And I'm Obviously, Jay. that's Jay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just did his job for him. Um, thank you for joining us for tonight's Fun Fold Friday Live. Um, this is just oh. going to be a quick video for you. Um, showing you how to make a fun fold card. Hopefully we don't get inter interrupted by this man right here. Hey, this is Tommy, by the way. Hello. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so as mentioned, I'm going to be doing a fun fold, um, fun, oh, fun fold Friday card for you tonight. So it's a fun fold. Um, What's it called? I don't actually know what the name of this card is. So as we're doing it, <laughs> please put your suggestions in um, for what you think it may look like. Because... I don't know. I've cased this from, or the idea, the the design has come from. Can you remember her name? Lavon. I don't know. That's we don't her know name. her surname. Um, I will pop a link. I'll pop her name down there. But there, I she, there was no link to her instructions at all. Again, I think she found it on Pinterest, and with no instructions. I found her picture with no instructions. Um, so I've made up what I think it looks like, but there's no name for it. So we don't know what it's actually called. So yes, we're going to open this up to you and, um, please name this card at the end. Um, I'd really appreciate that. <laughs> uh, or if you know the name of the card, uh, name the no, know the name of the fold. It looks like a Decepticon logo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so we're going to be using the lovely, we're going to be using the new Waves of Inspiration stamp set. So if you're a demonstrator, you can actually get this nice and early right now. Um, if you would like to get this nice and early and you want to join our team and get some lots of other freebies as well, you can do so. Please go ask us and we can tell you how you can get some freebies and get things like this early. But it's going to be available, I think, from customers yeah. next month. For this one, and it's got some coordinating dies as well. So we're going to be using the lovely, gorgeous you can sh designer series paper. Show that when your camera down. Yes, yes, I can do. Cool. So right. yeah, so we've got a few of you which have come in tonight. So thank you all for joining us. So we're going to say hi. Yes, we can do. Uh, so we have Janice. Hello. We have Lolly and Sand. Sandy McCullo. Um Judy. Hi, Judy. Janice. Um, again, I said, uh, Anne, hello, Anne, John, hiya, John, Lisette, we have Sue from Wisconsin, I think that's how you say it, Carol, Tina, Linda, Betty H, hello, Julie, and Shirley. Lovely. So good, so thank you all for joining us. Please do sh hit that share button as well. Give us a thumbs up if you are enjoying what you see. Share that button with some friends. Let's get some more people on here if we can. Um, we'd really like to have a few more of you here. There's a few more there. I think Diana has just come in there, yes. I think. So welcome, thank you for joining us. So yeah, so we're going to yes. crack on with tonight's demonstration. Uh, so it's only going to be a quick one, about half an hour. And um, yeah, and then we're going to hopefully get a name for it at the end. So yeah. I'm going to go camera down and let's crack on. So yes, so as mentioned, Waves of Inspiration stamp set right here. So this is the a new one which is going to be available for demonstrators now and for customers as of um, next month, so March. Comes with a lovely die set as well. Now we haven't done our normal black piece with all of the elements on it yet, so we will do that one very shortly. But this is a really nice stamp set which coordinates with it, and this is called the Waves of Inspiration um, die set as well. Sorry, Waves dies with the Waves of Inspiration stamp set. So that's what we're going to be using. And you've got this gorgeous, gorgeous paper. So you've got this lovely paper right here. Um, there is some more things. It comes with some foil in the suite. It comes with some um, gems in the suite. But the paper is kind of like what well, it's like an acrylic pouring um, technique, isn't it? Is how yes. this is done. So like an acrylic, it's actually, this is that will actually be an acrylic pouring. And then they've made, have taken a picture of it and then created this paper. So you've got this lovely papers so obviously very sea orientated very yeah oceany um laguni i think that particular <laughs> one right there laguni where is, is that even a word laguni um you, i can just see some lovely one. um i don't know this uh, yes some nice reefs going along here some nice dark blue seas the lovely coast oh, yeah it's so, so much you can do on these so you've got these lovely blue patterns, waves. See, Laguni. <laughs> Jay's just looking at me, guys. So. And then on the back, you've got these ones right here. I haven't here. seen this one. So you've got the 
back colours as well. So which is let's say stagnant laguni. No. <laughs> We've got these Calypso Coral as well. They're liking the Calypso Coral at the moment. You've got yeah. a lovely ground, you've got some Granny Ooh, Apple Green in here, Coastal one. Cabana. You've got some really nice patterns going in here. It's got a nice mix of the two, which is lovely as well. It's got a nice sandy shore. You've got a nice sea line coming in here. Really, really nice. That's not focusing. Why is that not focusing? That's gone. It was focusing earlier. There we go. That's it. It's because you had. Yeah and these ones right here. So we've got some beautiful papers, but the one which I'm going to be using is this one right here. Okay, so this is called the Waves of the Ocean 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper Pack. It has got the coordinating colours in here, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Knight of Navy, Pacific Point and Petal Pink is the colours which are matched in that set. But as I said, this is the one which I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this side right here for this one right here for tonight so jay's going to help me with some die cutting on this one here so what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to get some of the elements which are needed first prepared and then i'm going to give ask jay to die cut some stuff and then i'm going to then go on to the actual construction of the card whilst he's doing that bit for me so I, it's got this lovely oh see we haven't even popped our stickers on it yet it's got this lovely one right here what is what bird is this is um Pelican, isn't it? I don't know. It's, it's a pelican, You're isn't it? Me. <laughs> yeah, Jay doesn't know. It's a, it, I would, a pelican, I think this is. I don't know. Please correct me again. On the um, on the wooden. See, I, I, I am brainy, really honest. I do know things, but when I come on camera, I seem to go completely in out of it. Um, yeah, don't know what I'm talking about. So, the what is it? The groins at the beach. Is that what they're called as well? So I'm going to stamp this up and I'm going to be using soft suede for this one. Now I was going to do it in black and I thought no, if, because it's going to, it's resembling like a wood and the bird, I figured doing it in a nice brown instead of a black would work quite nicely. Look at how detailed that is there as well. So you've got that one and then I'm going to stamp the sentiments is I'm going to, I am going to stamp the sentiment and I'm going to be using happy birthday. And I'm going to be doing that in black. So I'm going to just do that on another piece of basic white. Okay. Now, fortunately, these have some lovely coordinating dies which go with this. And you've got the die which coordinates with this one right here. So no fussy cutting required, which I'm sure a lot of you will be going, thank you. No fussy cutting. And you've got this lovely, it's going to be this stitched edge die here for the sentiment, which fits this sentiment perfectly. So they work quite nicely. So they're the two which I'm going to use. You've also got some birds in here as well. So I'm going to ask Jay kindly to cut some birds out of some of this stuff here as well. So we've got that one. We're going to have that die cut. And you've got some clouds. So we are going to be, how many clouds do we need? We've got some cloud dies here, and I think we need... Is it in your coffee? What? Clouds in your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got two clouds, and I'm going to have two of the larger and one of the smaller ones done. So Jay will need to get a bit more scrap paper for this one. Yeah. And you've got the swirly dies. Now, I think the swirly one, which is, I'm not sure, Jay's just done something for me, and it's got these two swirly ones right here, which we're going to get Jay to cut out. And you're going to be cutting these out in silver, aren't you? In the silver uh, silver foil pack, isn't it, it by the looks yes, of it? Yes, it comes with the sweet. Okay, okay, the blue foils. Was that one of the blue foils in no, there? Oh, that yeah. was the silver foil. Okay. Oh, are you going to cut it out using the foil? Okay, Jay's going to, so when Jay was actually playing around with this, he cut it out of silvers, but he's going to do it now. We're going to be using the lovely blue foils um, from the pack, which, let's have a little look at them there. Okay, sorry. Yeah, they don't want to see a bit of cardboard. They want to see the actual foil. So you've got these foils, so you've got these lovely, and it comes with the silver in there as well. Yeah. So you've got kind of got a matte silver, and then you've got these lovely shiny blue 
it's like a coastal Coast cabana blue yeah. and probably a mix between Pacific Point and Knight of Navy, that one there, maybe. They say Knight of Navy. They say that they say Knight of Navy, is it? Yeah. So yes, yeah, so that's what you're getting. So Jay's gonna cut some of that out for me using some of these dies right here. So we're actually doing really well. The only one we haven't used is gonna be this one here. And then you've got this lovely sentiment, a bigger sentiment banner with the stitch, which is like the smaller one, which I'm gonna be using for the happy birthday, which is here, which will fit. You've got your totally awesome and your strength is an inspiration, which will probably, I'm assuming, I'd like to think, will fit these ones right here as well. So you've got, so this card, we're gonna be using this whole set, pretty much. So that's that. All right, so I'm gonna hand these over to Jay. I'm gonna ask him kindly if he will then die cut these elements out for me along with the waves. So I'm just gonna hand him the, the whole thing. And he's gonna do that for me. Thanks. Whilst I then go in, no, we're not counting tonight. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. Well, I suppose you do need a bit of a head start, don't you? Um, you do need, I do need to catch up with you. So what I'm gonna do is I've got myself my card base here. So I'm gonna start with our normal size card base, which is, I'm gonna be working, I am gonna be working in inches on this one. I will try and convert over to centimeters as I'm going, but the whole, the whole card has been worked with inches initially, and it's just easier in inches, um, because it's just easier to split and halve things, I think, as well. So I'm gonna be working here with our standard card base, which we cut this down to five and three quarters of an inch by eight and eight and a quarter inches. Um, which is basically 14.6 by 21. That one's easy for me to convert over. Then I'm gonna then turn it onto its long edge here, and I'm gonna score it in half at 10 and a half centimeters or four and one eighths of an inch. See, so at the moment I can quite easily convert, but it's, um, it's when I start getting some other things. Okay, so we've got a card base, I've cut it in half, which is then at ten and a half, which is you know, what would be, you would normally do to create your regular card base. Then what I want you to do is we then want to score this, or no, we need to mark it, sorry, at two and one sixteenth of an inch along the top here. So we're gonna take it to two and one six. What we're basically trying to do is we're trying to find the middle of this panel right here. So half of 10 and a half is 5.25, which equates to two and one sixteenth of an inch. So it's just easier for me to line up to two and one sixteenth of an inch and it is to try and 2.2.5, so which is why, again, easier in inches. So I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna pop a little mark on this one at the top. And then I'm going to do the same the other side, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate this around, bring the scoring tool down here, and then take that to two and one sixteenth of an inch again, and then just pop a little mark down there. Can you see? So we've got a little bit of a mark right here, and over there at equal distances. Then what I need to do is I want to then score from this point, so the outer point to the center score, which we did just then. So this one, so there to the center, and I'm gonna go from that mark to the center, that mark to the center, that to the center. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. So do that one, and then I then line that mark up with the center channel of my trimmer. Line the point up down here with the center channel and then score. So hello to everyone who's just joined us. Seeing a few new names there, because I haven't seen all, but the ones I can see. You've got Janice there from Jazzle Dazzle Craft. Welcome, hello, Carol, Sue, Anne. Um, thank you all so much for joining us. And do the same on the opposite side here. There. And then we do that one. So we're going to end up with six panels. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to keep this flat for the time being because it's just easier when we come to stick the designer series paper on. So that there is your card base ready to be folded and that's all you need to do with your folding and your fancy fold, all right? Then you're going to grab yourself some designer series paper. So as mentioned, I'm going to be using this gorgeous piece right here. 
and I'm going, or oh, Jay, do you want me to use the back side and we have a different one for this particular this particular card? What do you reckon? Yeah. Shall we do that one? So we've got the two types? Yeah. Okay, all right, well, I'm going to, I've already, my prototype I've already got using this one here. So I'm actually going to turn this round and I'm going to be using the back side. So then you've got an idea on, you, you can see two variations of this. Um, not, I'm sure this one's still going to come out just as nice. So you need to cut your designer series paper down to here to five and one quarters of an inch. So I'm just going to take off a big strip of this one here. Five and a quarter. by seven and a quarter. Okay, and that's what you need to do. Right there, I think I actually might need to, no, I've just taken that too big, five and a quarter, sorry, five and a quarter, not five and three quarters. I cut it at five and three quarters. It's actually, yeah, I said five and a quarter, but cut it at the wrong side. So five and a quarter by seven and a quarter is what you need to cut this down to, which is that one there. And that's your designer series paper. Then what we're gonna do is I am going to then just cut this at three and five eighths of an inch. So basically you want two pieces here measuring three and five eighths of an inch. which is 9.2. Okay, and then you're gonna end up with two equal pieces. Now, just make sure that you're now keeping this in order because this is now important because you want one to go, be, which is gonna be on this side here and one which is gonna be on that side. So you want your pattern to flow, okay? So just now make sure that you, you're aware of what one is what. So I'm gonna work, be working on the left-hand side first. And what I want to do here is I want to, again, take my trimmer and I want to find the halfway mark of three and five eighths of an inch, which is one and 13 sixteenths. So I'm just going to take this over to, I'm just going to count basically on the inches and I'm just going to count every line to see why I get to 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to pop a little mark on this one at the top. If necessary, you can grab yourself a pen and you can then maybe just, if you've got, a, if the pen fits through, it would work. I'm just going to see whether I can make it a bit easier for you. So I've gone, I've now found the halfway mark of my designer series paper. I then want to then cut from, so as I've got my mark at the top here, I'm rotating it around like this. And I now want to then cut from this corner to this one right here, which is going to replicate, which is going to create this one. And then these two pieces right here. So I've kind of gone from corner to corner, and then I will then cut. And then I will then go from the mark to the corner to create this one right here. So I am just going to grab my pen for a moment. I'm just going to make that mark just a little bit stronger for me. Because I can't see it. That's it. And then I will then go from that pet that mark to the corner down here and then cut this. Okay, so that size two pit, that size one's right there. What I would also say for you to do is to just remove now just a quarter of an inch from the top of both of these pieces. So I'm just gonna line it up and I'm just gonna remove a quarter of an inch from the top. So I'm just lining this up with the line and I'm just going to remove a quarter of an inch. It just makes this fit in and makes everything look a little bit more um, normal. Okay, so that's those ones. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do exactly the same on the opposite side, but bearing in mind, remember you've got to make sure that your pattern continues, which is this way right here which is like that, remember? So I now need to make sure I'm in my trimmer the correct way. Because so now this part over here is the biggest part and these two parts are going to be the smaller part, whereas before we were working the opposite way around. So just pop a pencil mark here again at your halfway mark, which is one and 13 sixteenths. OK, 
Okay, so that's found your your mark. I'm just going to pop a little bit of a pen line there. And then I'm going to cut my biggest part out now from this side here. So you want to be methodical when doing this, especially when you've got a pattern paper which is going to be called, um, needs to flow. And then cut these two pieces out. Like that. And then just remove a quarter of an inch. You could probably remove a quarter of an inch um, before you cut them down, but just remove a quarter of an inch here. So that there is it. So what we can do is we can go ahead and we can stick all of these pieces down now onto this pattern paint, onto our card base. So just put some glue. I would just suggest that you just, just pay a little bit of attention to the very corners of your paper. You don't want to go too much glue onto the corners, but when you've got these points, you don't want them to get stick up. So just try and take your glue out as far as you can take it and then stick these in, trying to look for an even, um, equal border all the way around it. It's more on these tiny ones you need to concentrate on the ends with the, with the glue. Just by taking that quarter of an inch off of the top of these ones, just then brings it in line and makes everything look a little bit more, um, a little bit like the same gap. Whereas beforehand you would have had quite a big border on these ones and gone with a smaller border on these, smaller triangles, if you hadn't have taken that quarter of an inch off. You right there, Jay? So I know we've got quite a lot of demonstrators on here watching us as well as um, non-demonstrators, but obviously for our demonstrators, who's got this stamp set yet? And if you aren't a demonstrator, are you going to be getting this stamp set? Do you like it? Have you, have a you lot has got it already. Um, got it, I believe, um, Jeremy Hunt has got it. Um, Can I say what are some of our future plans with this, Jay? Is that um, is that okay? All right. Yeah, we've okay. So we do actually plan, um, to, and this will be open worldwide. So not just for UK um, UK customers and demonstrators. This is open to um, anyone worldwide. But we don't, haven't got a date set for it yet. But we are planning on doing an all day retreat with this set. Um, so if you're familiar, we do we do, do some all-day retreats, um, which we've got one coming up on Sunday, actually, um, which is still open um, for bookings for worldwide customers. Um, but we will be doing something with this um, in the not-too-distant future. April. April, we're saying. Okay, so a couple of months gives us time to plan something and then get it advertised for you. But we're going to be, yeah, we're going to be doing an all-day retreat well, we'll be making several projects from stamper stacks to 3D items to boxes that we haven't designed yet. So, but yeah, we're using focusing on this set stamp set and bundle. Um, so the UK version will include the stamp set. So if you if you are in the UK, you can um, you can join us and it will include the stamp set. But if you've already got the stamp set, then you'll be able to swap it out for something else. The price stays the same, um, but you'll be able to then swap the stamp set out for something else if you've already got it. Um, and obviously for worldwide, obviously you can't purchase a stamp set or swap anything out for us. So you'd obviously there's a, a reduced price for yourselves because um, you can't buy it from us. So yeah, so keep an eye out for that if you are interested. So that there is the fun fold ready to now be fun folded. <laughs> <laughs>
because <laughs> at the moment it's flat. So Jay has been kindly been decorating some stuff um, stuff for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm now going to fold this up and then we're going to then pop the decoration on here. So this is really simple. We're just going to console Tina. So now I, I really need all of your help, everyone. What are we going to call this card? Do you know what this fold is called? Or are we? Or can we be inventive and come up with a name tonight? So I'm going to fold this one like this. Okay, and then we're going to then fold in on that one. So we're just doing the opposites to what we've um, done already. And then we then fold it in half. And then... Like that. And then... Like that. Okay. And that there is and this will fit in a this will fit in a C in a C six envelope. It will be a bit of a tight fit, but it does fit. Okay. And then that will then stand up like this. So it's gonna go on display and it will be like that. So please somebody tell me what the name of this fold is. I like I say I saw it from there um what's her name again, Jay? Who we saw it from? Lavon. Lavon can't pronounce the surname, so Lavon is a fellow demonstrator. Um, but this from her, um, but she didn't give it a name. She didn't know the measurements either. So we both created our own versions. So that's that one right there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to kindly ask Jay if he's got the some of the elements prepared for me, and I'm going to start sticking those on for you. have options so Jay has kindly die cut a load of I stuff I quite for like me. the petal pink oh the petal pink birds, birds. oh so that there is the die cut fan fold oh but okay fan fold that works um Betty oh, yeah. arrow fold from Janice there Um, any other names? So I quite like those arrow fold, um, fan fold. I quite, yeah. So there's the the bird which is on the the wooden bits at the beach. You've got that. You've got that lovely die cut element right here with the stitch edge, and I think this is really really pretty. And Jay's gone ahead and he's going to cut me some lovely blue clouds. He's gone ahead and cut me some lovely white clouds as well. So we can choose. And it's gone ahead and it's gone and cut me some um, white bird and some petal pink bird. Now I think because we're going to be doing it on a different paper, I will probably use a petal pink, I think. Petal pink, I think. I'm a poet and didn't even know it. And they're going to kind of go... Like, I think they work quite nicely on this one right here, the petal pink. Um, whereas the white... I think work quite nicely, but because it's a light, they work better on the darker paper because they stand out a bit more. They do blend in a bit more. So I will. I think I'm going to be using the petal pink birds there, and I think I will probably be using the. I reckon the blue clouds as well, up over here because it's a lighter paper, so we're going to go with a more of a contrast thing. So, yeah, do you mind if I use the blue and the pink, Jay? No, no that's good. <laughs> so, let's construct this, and then we would then need to finish, because I need to go out in about 10 minutes' time. <laughs> so, we're going to start by sticking this tree, this tree, where did I get tree from? Um, cloud. over here so again I'm making sure that I'm not sticking onto this panel over here I'm just sticking onto the that one okay then I'm gonna take another one right here and then I'm just gonna add this over like that so a little bit of glue along the base of on the top of this cloud right here and just on the end like that, and then we'd end up stick those. Hi Amanda, hi Mum. 
yeah, I think fan works um, works well, Anne. And then we'll pop this one. So how many of you would be interested in joining us for a um, a, a day retreat? Like I say, it's open worldwide. So do let us know. Um, maybe email us, Barry and Joe at matusucrafts.com. Let me put my email up there just to register your interest. And then I, what I do is I've going to got your email addresses. And then if you're interested, once we've got our stuff done, I can then email you with more confirmed details. So yeah, do email us, Barry and Joe at Matusucrafts. Pop in there. Um, Waves of Inspiration Retreat as the subject line and just give us your details again, um, your email address or best way to contact you in there and I'll, yeah, I'll get an email out to everyone. So that's that one. And Jay's gone and kindly gone and cut these lovely, the waves right here so as well. I'm just going to show, if you don't mind. No. Uh, one, I believe, is more like the over one. So... This is the original setup of this. Sorry. Uh, the one with the more waves, I would say, is the lighter that you need to die cut. So it's, it's, it's breaking. Yeah. It's, it's more of the breaking of the waves, isn't Because it? you can lay them over on top, yeah. like what Barry's showing. And then the other one is um, the shading, the shadow. So yeah. you could always... Um, because I don't think it works. I think it works better having the light on the top. So you've kind of like got the um, the yeah. white, the white of the waves is then coming and then you've got a nice, nice blue sea. So I think that's kind of how we also, interpret that, how it's meant to be. These tiny ones I've already, I cut as well. And I think they are for I didn't cut them with adhesive sheets, I'm afraid. Um, if you lay them down, these ones, I think, goes there. Uh, okay, so we need to work with these. These are all layering ones as well. So you can kind so of, you, yeah, actually, you they add, look like, you it looks like that there, one there kind of like matches with that one. Either that one on there or yeah. somewhere else. so you've got but you can kind of create some nice create the, um, yeah. lighter shavings. So that's good Sharon's just said you can make the clouds 3d if you use those funny squiggly dies what are the funny squiggly dies oh what these uh, do you mean these ones right here is this what you're on about um uh you know what they're actually part of the clouds jay oh uh, that's okay, Sharon. Thank you for that. We thought they were ways, but no, they actually fit yeah. perfectly for the clouds. That's good. Okay. I quite like. I like it. With I like your idea well. down there as well. But yes, no, they are actually designed to go on the clouds. It, it fits perfectly on the clouds. So thank you very much for that, Sharon. You can also emboss them. I I used um, what you call it, shim. <laughs> on the white, some of the white ones, and you can yeah. see. Yeah. They do. Yeah, they do. Thank you very much for that, Sharon. We, have, we hadn't seen, um, we hadn't noticed that. We thought they were part of that one there. So, thank you. So, they are not for that, but I think mm. they work well I for think, that one. I think they will. But work. they work, they're, they're actually designed for the clouds to give them a little bit of a, a an element to it. Which is weird because it's it's got some. Um, yeah, it's got some. It's got some embossing on it. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to now. Do you want a dover? Yeah, can I actually get you to stick those together yeah, for me, right. Jay, whilst I do the other part? So Jay's going to go ahead and he's going to, he's got, he's got a bit of glue on the dauber here. So I'm just going to, silicon craft sheet, glue. Preferably not a blue one, but. That's all we could grab at the time. <laughs> do that off camera whilst you're doing that so it's not too confusing for people so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick a bit of glue on the back of this sentiment right here I'm gonna then stick the bird and one in that and then I've got some dimensionals either side of this one right here. 
So you've got a double you've got a double effort from the Turvus tonight. And then Jay has looks like he's used some ribbon. See now this is where Jay's uh, Jay's got his little piece on this now. If um, you do this, if you stick that down. You're gonna do that part there yeah. for me. On there. Okay, so we're just gonna then stick this down. Like this. And using that dauber has given it a nice, um, a nice even spread across the whole thing. You can't really use the adhesive sheets on this because obviously it's going to then. You can, but just make sure you don't go too far over that it's going to end up getting adhesive sheets on this because obviously it's going to end up being off the card like that. I just need to do that. Okay. So Jay's kindly cut me a die, um, cut me a, a bow right here or a bit of ribbon, and we're going to then just snip that off. And it was like just so. literally um, just. Um, and it's just tied not, it in a knot, yeah. so nothing too yeah. fancy on that one there. I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller actually. Okay, and then we will then just stick this down with some dimensionals. Now I will need to put some dimensionals on the actual bird as well. So if I take a few more. And pop them there like that and then I'm gonna stick this down right here and Jay's kindly gone ahead and done that so I'm just gonna stick that down before it loses its tack so he's also put the dauber on it's put the glue on the back of that one and then we're just gonna layer this up on top of this one once again right here and that there has given a lovely breaking wave look so that one okay and then to finish this one off just cut off the excess for me please okay <laughs> sorry all right okay you are actually cutting off the excess you're not leaving it on there see jay designed this part and i didn't um it's because when you fold it because when up. you fold it you'll need it so yeah. you'll need to cut off your excess on this one but you leave this one here and then to finish this up we then turn this into a lovely happy birthday card. So this is, I think, it's a, again, a male-orientated card. Because of the colours, it's very male-orientated. But again, it's suitable for anyone. And then that one goes over like that. And then, actually, just to finish off, we do need to pop some of these um, these birdies in here. So if you've got that dauber there, Jay, again, with the glue on it. Because yeah. I just to put the um, on the back of the... On the back of these, so you probably need the one. Okay, so I've got a little bit of glue there. It's not even little time yet, Tommy. And we can then pop that down, and then we have one more. Ooh. Pick up a little bit of the glue, and then just transfer it onto. Or you use adhesive sheets. <laughs> but if you always forget to use adhesive sheets like we do, then um, this is a great way of doing it. And I've just realised that I've probably put a little bit too much glue over on one side there, but that's fine. And there we have... We don't have the sequins. We don't. No, we, we didn't. We were too, too quick. quick in ordering it. We <laughs> ordered it before the sequins were available. And then a couple of hours later, they're available. And there we have it. So as it is, it's a nice card. So you can kind of use this design and then make turn this into a card anyway. But just by turning it into a fun fold, you've now got one which is then going to then sit up on somebody's. It's a, it's a little bit flimsy. Um, but So you can't have it too open, otherwise it will fall down. So it does need to go back a little bit. But that works quite nicely. And that's kind of how it will then sit on somebody's mantelpiece, fireplace, coffee table, wherever. So that's that one. This is the one which I did beforehand, which is using the darker colours. So you can see there it's a lot, it's very busy. I actually think I prefer the lighter version now after seeing the two. Initially I was like, I don't know if it's going to work. But this was the darker one. And this is the one obviously which we just done made live for you right now, which has got the lighter colours. I think these things start to pop off the page a little bit more because they're not blending in, they're not fighting too much. So, but there's two variations for you. So you can then see 
what both of those are. Excellent. Did you like that? Are you going to give it a try? I will try and write up some instructions for this one. I do. I know I say that an awful lot, but I will try and write up <laughs> some instructions for you. Um, at least some measurements. Um, like I say, they will be in inches, um, but it's quite easy to convert over to, to centimetres. But I think inches is just easier to work with. So let's go over to, to us. That. Yeah, we'll probably pop the um, the white elements on the clouds yeah. on that as well, just to finish that one off. Sorry, I'm just admiring. Yes, well done, <laughs> Barry, and thank you for joining us. Um, so yeah, uh, you can it fits in the C6 as Barry said that way. But if you're having problems, you could always fold it that way because it's a normal card base. Yes, it is a normal card base. Yeah. yeah, so it will definitely go in when you when it's folded up. Obviously, because you've got a little bit on the end here, it just it just mm. needs to go in at a slight angle. But yeah, there are ways which you can do it. But you could always make envelopes, right? Yes, you could make your own envelopes. I'm sure. So, do you like uh, it? Has that got your thumbs up? Do you have? Do I have your approval? I look like a duck. Quack quack. No, but <laughs> do you know? Doesn't that look like? Decepticon, I don't... Yeah. What, from Transformers? Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're local. I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, I kind of maybe. I see any Transformers fans out there. So, any Donald Duck fans out there? Let's see, I look like Batman. <laughs> you look like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway, <laughs> just going to get slapped now. So, um, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. And, um, yeah, we will be back on Sunday evening with our regular Sunday evening um, tutorial live. live. Um, on that note, we'll say goodnight now, and we'll see you on Sunday. Yes, take care, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.